Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to show you real quick how you can enter conflicts against past students on tabroom.com. This is really handy when you've had students that have graduated from your program and gone on to compete at four-year colleges. So once you're logged into tabroom.com, go ahead and click on your email address or account name to go ahead and get to the screen that looks something like this. If you're not at a tournament, it may not have pending ballots, it may just have registration information, but it'll always have a couple boxes over on the side. Find the box labeled judging, and in that box you're going to find either the second or third link down is going to be conflicts. Go ahead and click on that. That takes you to the standing conflict database. And what you can do here is search for students that you have either coached or have relationships with in the past that you can't judge and enter them as a permanent standing conflict. So let me show you real quick how this works. We'll just go ahead and search for a student by last name, click on search. It's gonna then bring up every student with the last name Smith. And I'll scroll down and here's Ed Smith who I can't judge. I click the conflict button and boom, it's listed as a permanent conflict. If for some reason I became able to judge this person or I put the wrong person in, I could click remove. But from now on, that student is listed as someone I can't judge. You can also add entire schools if you work with another school or program and you can't judge that. But doing this makes it easy. It's persistent, which means that you don't have to do it every tournament. And it, causes, it helps solve the problem of getting to a tournament only to find that you're scheduled to judge a student that you can't judge and all of the hijinks that go along with that. All right. Thanks for watching and good luck.